Welcome back guys, I'm Griff. This is Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2, and we are in camp, apparently. I don't remember what we were doing last time, but we're chilling right now. Um, what are we doing? Where is the map? Let me, <laughs> let me see. Oh, we've got a Dodge Quest, and uh, Strauss Quest. Oh, that's right, we still haven't gone over here. Oh my god, we got one that's way over here. Oh man one way down here holy crap okay well we got a lot of stuff to do let's uh sleep until morning and then see what dutch wants where's the where's my bed i live over there that's not how you run oops sorry i've been playing i've been like game hopping so i know that always hurts me when i come back yes dutch Mr. Morgan. what yeah, everybody wants yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Oh, great. How do I say hey to people? Sorry, I'm just gonna constantly push the wrong button. Is this... Oh wait, that's uh Beatrice Morgan. So I guess Arthur's mom? Alright then. Put that there. What what is this book? Can I can I get this book? Okay, there we go. What is this book? Rambles through the woods and plains. Oh, you can actually read it? Okay, we're not, we're, we'll just, look, we read it. Good job. Is this a book too? I want the, no, not the newspaper. Sometimes it's hard to pick the, what you want to pick up. Ah, man. Control would be a little easier if you were on PC. Just say it. Okay, so this is a zoology book, so we must know stuff about, is that Pearson? Who's over there talking? Whoever it is, very loud. Badgers. Okay, well, all right then. Let's just uh, take a nap. I'm, I'm taking a nap until I know you can't see it. Oh, you can see right above my head. It says morning, but I also have noon and evening, so let's sleep till morning. Seven hours is plenty of sleep. It's fine. Just go to bed, and then we'll get up bright and early at seven a.m. and see what uh. Was it 7 a.m.? I think it just said morning. We'll assume that's 7. Yes. Let's save over that. And then we'll see what that she wants. Because that's how we roll. <laughs> Put the hat back on. Do I need to shave? Am I good? I'm good. I think I'm alright. I think Arthur's pretty enough. Alright, what do you want, Dutch? How do I talk to you? Arthur. Oh, there we go. Hello. Dutch. Miss O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. <laughs> feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. 
I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. <sighs> Fine. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Oh, I'm a big giant pony. Wait a minute. I got up early morning and now the sun's going down. Where's it going? Is it going down? Maybe it's going up. It's, maybe it's coming up. Yeah. Going up. I don't know. You know what? It just seemed like it got brighter and then darker. Sorry, Lenny. I was leaving you. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Mike has got a crazy side off him. What yeah, are you does. boys doing? You're supposed to be scouting the head for him. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just just some business to attend to, kid. You Sounds know how like he Micah. is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them Micah knew. Drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. It happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? Oh, sorry, Lenny. I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, okay. That I sounds like a fun plan. Me and a couple of the other boys got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. Here we are. We are going drinking first thing in the morning. Great. 7 a.m. Booze. Easy, easy. Hard, boy. Man, that pony needs a brushing. He's so dirty. Where'd Lenny go? Lenny? Oh, there you are. All right, Lenny. Let's go have some breakfast drinks. Uh-oh, uh mister. <laughs> what? Hi there. Morning to you. Let me just scoot in. This bar is awfully crowded for being so early in the morning. I'm just saying. At least we're not the only day drinkers. Just one or two. Right off of? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none anybody. from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot Mike... of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Oh my God, Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Duller. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. Been We're gonna try to charm him. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, oh, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Eh? No pleasing some folk. Eh, he drunk. I guess he didn't <laughs> stop drinking the previous night. <laughs> Booze! Yay! Shots! Oh god, it got serious. It's so early for shots, everybody! Oh no, now it's dark outside. We've been drinking all day. Lenny, where are you? Uh-oh. Lenny! See that feller I was with? That feller. Hey, you see my friend anywhere? You alright there, slugger? I think your friend went upstairs. Oh, okay. Benny! Benny, where are you? Can't find my friend. You know where we went? Wouldn't know. Let's just ask random people. Benny? You know which way my friend went? What are you doing, kid? Hello, There he is. I found him. Upstairs was a good, good tip. No, what? I don't know. <coughs> Drunk friends are best friends. Like, what is that even? What are we doing? That's the thing you see. Is it? Penny? We 
We've all been there. Lenny. I'm drunk, talking to you. No, My drunk friend wandered up. Oh god, Lenny! Lenny, Lenny, I think he's trying to cut somebody down there. Lenny's right there! You? I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah. Shut your mouth, mister. <laughs> Fist fight into line dancing. This has got to be one of the best, best, um, missions in the game. Maybe not this part, but the rest of it. Line dancing, drinking with Lenny. It's all good. That was like a really long time. How do I? Is this the door I came out? Oh jeez, drunk people. Oh, Lenny. oh, they're all Lenny. I wish you could see. Like my camera's in the way, but I wish you could see. I guess I could turn it off for a second. I'll just turn it off for a second. It has like all of the weird ways for spelling Lenny and talking to Lenny. Just misspelling everything. Cause I guess, you know, not anymore. I guess I can turn that back on, sorry. I just, I think it's funny. It's like, you know, cause it's backwards. What do you mean, where are you hiding? Lenny's like everywhere. No, no, it's not that guy. You've been looking all over for you, Lenny. How many of you have, pal? How does everybody look like Lenny, Lenny, in a dress? There you are, Lenny. Lenny? Go away, you drunk. Yeah, I am. I found you, Lenny. <laughs> I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Man, Arthur, what is wrong with your vision? There's another Lenny in a dress. Lenny! Oh, no, I meant Lenny. Lenny the piano player. I can't talk to this Lenny. Man, it's not letting me talk to all of the Lennies. Is that real Lenny? I don't remember what Lenny was wearing. Oh, hey, there he is. Arthur, what are you doing? Talking to all the Lennies. <laughs> Let's just slap each other because that's fun. I guess this is fun in the Wild West when you're drunk. It's probably fun now. Cheers. More drinks. Cheers. Not you again. That guy's still here drinking? I know I'm not gonna drown him. I'm just gonna let him sit there until he can run away, because I'm not gonna drown him. Have to drown him? Don't make me drown this guy. Oh, okay, that's that's good. I deserve that. I definitely deserve that. What are we doing? Ooh, now it's gonna be the not fun part of the night. Ugh. Definitely the hey, policemen. We're just no, no, run. Oh god, drunk running is hard running. Oh my god. No, why? No, I don't wanna. I'm going this way, bye. I don't know what button is, okay. Oh no, I fell. I fucked it up. Ah. You alive? No, yes, maybe. Arthur. You uh, alive, Arthur? Um, I want to die. Where are we? Where do you think we are? What do we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. Yeah. You pair degenerates. Uh, There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. Either you fools got any money? Ten dollars and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either you around here no more. Okay. 
Oh. <laughs> Nasty. So, that was a quiet drink? First one was pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least it took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. Bye. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself. Oh. 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 Well, I mean, at least I'm still in town and my horse is close by. Because if I had successfully jumped that fence and run away, I'd be out in a field somewhere without my horse. We'd have to just uh, walk back. You know what? My cores are not looking so great. So let's go into the bar and have breakfast First for real. First time? I was here all day no yesterday. This time, all right? oh, just beef stew, please. Just the I'll cheaper the version. Okay, we're gonna get a haircut, I think. Since we're here and all. Thanks, it was great. Better than Pearson's. Probably. <laughs> Barbara guy, cut my hair. Alright, what can I do for you? I'm just trimming it. That's too short. Let's go with that. Oh, that's a bit better. Uh, I guess I can trim my face here, even though it's gonna cost money, but that's okay. Trim it down just Better a little bit. Hope, yeah, it's fine. Thanks. You're the best barber in this town because you're the only one. Right Good then, job. You are all set. There's like Thanks, two or three barber places, I think. There's one here, one in. Is there one in Strawberry? I think there might be one in San Denis. I'm pretty sure there's a barber in San Denis. But they're not everywhere. Like, you have to travel places to get to a barber, I guess. Brush my pony. Good morning, mister. Hello. I'll, I would say hello to you, but I'm a little busy. Yeah, that's better, boy. I'll feed him. Here's a snack. What? What did that guy say? Yeah, my horse. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're still... You're wow. Right, Sometimes I forget how much bigger the horse is than Arthur. Look at that thing. I had to reach up to pet him. All right, let's take a bath while we're here. I'm like only a handful of places you can take a bath either. Valentine's one of them. I will not bust in the door. Hey, mister. Morning. We'll walk in carefully and take I a bath. bath. That's okay. Can you organize? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Thanks. Wait, well, I'm missing my gun. I guess the uh, sheriff probably confiscated it. Oh, bath time. Bath time is best time. We got a shave and a haircut and a bath. Like, we're spiffy would now. You like any assistance? No, thank you. I would not decline. I think I'm okay. Thanks. Pretty sure I'm capable right, of cleaning myself. <sighs> See, I do the, the accent for a minute on purpose and then later it will come back and it will not be on purpose and I will not realize I'm doing it. So apologies for the uh, bit of a twang that this game sometimes brings out. <laughs> Perfect. We're clean. Out of the bathtub. I know you probably wanted to chill but out of the bathtub. Got things to do Arthur. I don't know what those things are, but we're gonna go do them right now. Uh, I actually don't know what we're gonna do. I got space if you need to rest. No, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, the map button. That's not the map button. That is never the map button. Okay, so we're over here. What is that? Oh, that must be Micah. Um, let's... What is Javier doing way down here? Oh, rescuing Sean. Okay, let's... Strauss is at camp. I guess we'll go and do this one. And then pick up Swanson's and then go do that. Because the white ones are side questy things. Which I could do whatever that one is over there. On the way to Swanson. I try to be efficient. I try. Just 
doesn't always happen the way I want it to. Didn't I tell you to come to me? I'll come to you. Whatever. That's fine. Ooh, let me not run over people in town. After before, I'm sure weary of you. You don't have to worry about me. Oh, wait. Just leave my pony in the middle of the town. I won't bite. Hey. hey, Wallace. This year's the kind soul I was telling you. It's about. that guy with the weird the one haircut. That, uh, got the venom out of your leg? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Guess so. Listen, friend. I know I can never repay you, but how about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do with him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Yeah, the Almighty. <laughs> Always a doubter you are. Hey, I like free stuff though, and that is why you do good guy things. Hey, well, that because it's you? the nice things. Outside told me I could grab something on his tab, one with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. Well, take a look around. Uh, Find something you like, and I'll put it on his tab. I like repeaters a lot. Do you have one that's better than what I have that I can buy? See, I already own that one. Uh, there's a varmint rifle. It's a hunting rifle. Maybe. Maybe that one. Oh, that Springfield's nice, though. See, some of them that are, like, the special weapons or whatnot, you can't. You can't buy. Um, can't buy with the freebie money, I guess. Okay, fine. Give me the Springfield. I'll take that. Give me that. Fine choice. I'll let him know. Thank you. Bye now. Bye now. Is this? Yeah. See, we can change a bunch of stuff about it if we wanted to. Uh, I want to see. I mean, you know. Can I not put pretty things on it? Oh, I can't put pretty things on this one, but you can change the color if you wanted to. I mean, I don't really need to. Can I put anything special on it? Iron sights and all that junk. I don't need that. Hmm. I'm good. I'll just take the free gun. Thanks. I said I said I'm good. I said I'm I'm done here. Thank you for the free gun. Sweet. I like this one. Let's go. Now we are for reals on our way. Oh. Cool. I just ran off the- Okay. Ran off the thingy and straight into the horse. Sorry, excuse me. I'm a mad man on a pony. Hey, friend. Why can't I greet people? There we go. I just like saying hello to people. I like good guy points. Alright. I'll just leave town this way. I don't believe in roads. Yeah. Oh wait, is this my friend again? Probably shouldn't. I lost my nickel. hat. Oh, that's right. My hat. My hat. My hat. Morning, friend. I hear the dude. Is he? Is that him sitting Excuse there? Me. Excuse me, but I need Howdy. some money. I fought in the war. I fought for you. Out of the way. Hello, mister. This is getting out of the wagon's hey, way. Buddy. Now we're standing a little hey, close. Mister. Yes. Mister. Yes. I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother, but I didn't learn your I name. I know about that now. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed. I just slept on it. What's your name, mister? Uh... Arthur. Arthur? I like that it grabs the camera. My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him. On account of his name. It's a fine name. A strong name. Like a king. Vampire. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. I like that he's just like, alright, I'm done talking. Bye. Hey, fellas. Alright. Can I look at the, the sheep? How do I look at the sheep? Sheep! I'm studying the sheep. 
Now I know what sheeps are. In case I was confused beforehand. I guess I know specifically what kind of sheeps they are by looking at it really hard for a second. Maybe it's thanks to that book that I found at the camp. Hey there. I say as I run by. Hi there, mister. Oh, okay, no rocks. We know what happens when we run over rocks. We die. That's what happens when I run over. Okay. Hey, stop right where you are. hey, I don't want to. And I don't have to do what yep. you say. So bye. I was just trying to make sure I didn't fall down that mountain. Well, that mountain. I call anything that's a slight ledge a mountain. Hey, deer. Bye, deer. I think you're a deer. Bye. Animal that could probably feed people at camp. Turkeys. Hello, turkeys. I hate that. Every time I see animals out in the wild, I'm like, but the camp. But I'm not going to camp, so I'm not feeding them right now. Uh, birds. Wide open spaces. I like the freedom that you have in games like this. People underestimate the freedom of this kind of stuff. I guess some people it's too free. Some games can be too free. Or it's like, just go and do whatever. Like that's my thing with Skyrim. I have trouble with Skyrim because it's like, here's the open world. Now go do things. And you're like, but what things? And they're like, things. Go, figure it out. I'm like, but I don't know where to go <laughs> to figure it out and this map is giant. This one still has very directed quests and things like that that are easy to find. And I guess if you pick a quest line in Skyrim, you can go about it like that. I've just never finished Skyrim because I got lost in the vastness of things. I'm sorry, pony. There was probably a snake and I didn't see it. And I made you run too much. I'm sorry. I probably don't like those birds. I don't blame you. Hello. Yellow. Green. Are we just saying colors? Sorry. That's honestly, to be fair, I kind of make fun of it, but like this is how I grew up. These uh, specific hey, accents and ways of speaking. Well, just get rid of my. Hey, hey, hey. It's trusting. I don't want to see it. Oh. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. I wanted to look at the dog. That. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By but marriage. But not kill anybody. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, we're thieves, so sure, why not? Let's go rob somebody. Oh, I need to brush really? him. Really? Lead the way. He said oh. the place is just northwest of here. Me? Oh, You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. 
I like that Arthur gets to be in charge no matter what. Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. Turkeys. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Sorry, I got distracted by the ponies. Let's go over some, Jose. We gotta turn a little bit. Can I talk to you? Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. Walk into you, and I didn't get to ask you anything because we got here too fast. We should go on foot from here. All right, fine. Let's see what oh, we're wait. With. Come on. oh wait, I guess I don't need anything though, because we can't kill these people. Best not to. Uh, best not have a weapon, so I'm not tempted. Is this stuff I can pick though? Pick it if it is. Nope, just kidding. It's not. Not this. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. I'll get down. Nope, oh, nope, not that. That's both of them. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Okay. Let's tutorial this a little bit. Here's how you use your binoculars. Here we go. Anyone around? Yes. Yeah, there's a dude right okay. there. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's just do it right now. I don't care. Oh, no. Sure. All right, then. Broad daylight, Robin, folks. Don't follow me. Adds to the challenge. <laughs> don't follow me. Okay. I'll wait until he wait is until distracting the people. Outside, then yes. The okay. I can do this. I am patient and stealthy. And this will be fine. There's a dude up on a horse on that hill over there. Come on, Jose. Walk a little faster. I'm gonna go to this rock over here. Get a little bit closer. My good man. Rob My good the house of forty-five dollars. Okay. Fairly well. Fairly well. <laughs> Jose. Is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost. How many years? I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Sure. Nice to meet you. I'm like, so pleasant. With Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling, uh, uh, your, uh, Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford the third, sir. Yep. Okay. Oh. I'm sneaky. Pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. I'm my sneaky. name. Just my gonna name let Hosea talk now, this whole time. Tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Come on, there's gotta be something in these drawers. Oh, wait, I missed the pocket watch. No, wait, I took it. I got it. Okay, let's close them all back. I'm hoping that I can get away without them noticing that I've taken anything. I'm like, yeah, no, nothing's, nothing's a matter. Can I open this? Oh, it's really dark in this corner, though. Close the cabinet back. Super still. Search this. Oh, platinum van. Oh, man. Taking some stuff. Close this. Okay. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh, there's another chest. Jose is out there, like, convincing this guy he can cure his back problems and everything. And the guy's like, no, I just like to drink. He's like, no, let me, let me fix you. I can cure you. Uh, I'm a 
take this carrot. Mm, delicious food. And an apple? That, that would be for my horse, but I am full up on apples. Okay. I've taken $51. Don't worry. I know that's more than what it asked for, but... I mean, if you're gonna rob somebody, go big or go home, right? We are going big. I take this coin purse. Take this money clip. Who puts a dollar eighty-five in a corn port? A coin purse. A corn purse and a corn purse too. Search this wardrobe. And then take this stuff. Take this stuff. Look in the drawers. Take another pocket watch. Close the drawers. Close that. Close that. Okay, okay, okay. Look, we're almost done here, I promise. But uh, always check chimneys because people like to hide stuff in the chimney. A lot. Yeah, how about that? You go from $83 to $233. Guy had a little bit of cash hidden away. And then we'll just go. Over to the barn. How much will it cost me? I'm offering you virility and you're asking me about money, Ah, oh, Jose, good job. Mr. My rates are reasonable. Have a think about it. I'll be around this way next week. Goodbye. I just like listening to Jose's presentation of that. Goodbye. If it's on such a showman attitude. Just uh, sneak in here. Oh, I like that the, you know, thing's already... Got horses on and everything. These horses are just standing here waiting. Oops, you can get up, Arthur. It's okay. I like that he gets up, but he's still in like sneaker mode. Sneak, sneak, sneak. I'm a stealthy cowboy. Can I brush this one? This horse is dirty. Can I brush you? I can calm you down. It's okay. You done, Arthur? Yeah. Yep. Covered my tracks so well, they won't even know I was in there. Good work. Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Okay. Get on, dear boy. I'm working on it. Just have to get over there. No, no, don't, don't, don't shoot people. Let's put that away. All right, all right, all right. Just... Pick up the pace. Let's take the wagon right in front of their house. We were stealthy enough to have stolen things without being noticed. But then we just there is, there drive the wagon. We need Straight in front of their here. house. Don't don't shoot at them, Jose. We're not supposed to kill them. Put your gun away. I'm gonna drive us off the road, which is sometimes not wise with a wagon. Look at all those buffalo just hanging out over there. Not right into them. I just was looking at them. What? Too late now. Oh, was there an option for going out the other way? I just figured I was supposed to go this way. Some money. Some stuff. I robbed them real good. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. Gonna crash if you don't slow down. Well, no. I'm, I'll be fine, Jose. Trust me. I'm driving this wagon. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet. Slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. there Let me go. slow down a little bit. Hey, look at that pony just standing out here. Hello, Seamus. We look, met your we brought cousins. This thing. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Okay. Cool. Mission accomplished. Go team. Nice work, Jose. Now let's be friends. It's mostly Arthur. 
Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Okay. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh, I will meet you there. Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. Jose has got a pretty horse. Okay, well then, we'll call it here for this one. We stole a wagon and robbed somebody really well. And I feel slightly bad about it, but at the same time, I don't, I guess. I don't know those people, so maybe it's the distance thing that makes me not feel bad about it. Regardless, we robbed some folks. And uh, next time when we come back, we will head over and, and see what um, some things. I'll, I'll make words here in a minute. No, we're going to head down this way and pick up... We'll probably do this side quest and then head up Reverend Swanson. And then eventually we'll make our way down to Javier. Eventually. We'll get there, Javier. Don't worry. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. And I will see you next time.